Nola Jet here at Fisher's at Orange Beach Marina. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our beach travel vlog, we enjoy beach food with a burger at Fisher's at Orange Beach Marina on the Gulf Coast in Orange Beach, Alabama. This restaurant has a split personality with the downstairs, Fisher's Dockside, being a more casual restaurant, while Fisher's Upstairs is a more upscale restaurant. Fisher's at Orange Beach Marina is located in Orange Beach, Alabama at 27075 Marina Road, which is about three hours and 196 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Join us for a beach food travel adventure as we explore Orange Beach style beach food with a cheeseburger. So this area is part of the Fisher's Upstairs, more upscale dining restaurant. So this is where you would head on upstairs for the more fine dining experience that Fisher's Upstairs offered. So I never got a chance to investigate the upstairs. They're only open at night. I was here for the daytime. And unfortunately, I never had the opportunity to dine here at night. And I did have a plan to do that, but things have gotten in the way that look like it will never happen, unfortunately. Now, here we are right next to Fisher's Downstairs, and this is the more casual restaurant. Now, as you can see, there are just all kinds of tables and chairs all around this area, as this is also definitely a very active marina, and a lot of people just like to grab some drinks and just sit around and enjoy looking at all the boats or just enjoying the nice weather and the experience of being here next to a marina. So plenty of chairs and tables all over the place to really kick back and enjoy yourself in this area. They have done a really fantastic job landscaping all around this marina, along with providing a whole lot of really wonderful chairs and tables throughout the whole expanse of this area. So you get some really wonderful views of the marina where you can check out the beautiful boats and the water here and they have a whole lot of wonderful options all over the place here to just relax and enjoy yourself and see the wonderful amazing spot that you get to enjoy here so i would say this is certainly an above average situation where you can enjoy a meal along with a fantastic view that you just don't get at most other places you're going to eat at in this area so Orange Beach has some really nice places to enjoy. There's just not a whole lot of places with a view quite like this. Now here we are at the entrance to Fisher's Dockside and we're gonna go ahead and head on over and look at this sign here with some specials with happy hour. Oh yes. And they have plenty of merchandise for sale right there with some t-shirts. Now let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out if I can get the right door handle here. So they've got more stuff for sale and more dining space on that side, but their main dining room space is right here next to the bar and then lots of outdoor seating. Now it's a little bit of a cooler day today, so not a lot of people are brave enough to sit outside. I'm just going to be sitting up here at the bar as I'm by myself and the bar is probably the best place to get quicker service in my situation. So this is uh, definitely a really pleasant spot and let's go ahead and check out the menu now. So we've got a selection of classic cocktails, wine, sparkling whites, rosé reds, and a selection of beer. Then we have a selection of appetizers with murder point oysters, fried crab claws, pill and eat shrimp, crawfish and artichoke dip, fried boudin balls, house smoked tuna dip, pimento cheese, black eyed pea hummus, dockside wings. Then we have dessert with coconut bread pudding, cheesecake, and chocolate cake. Then we have salads with Caesar salad, Greek salad, tomato stack, Italian salad, and a selection of add-ons. Then we have fried baskets with Gulf shrimp, Gulf oysters, half shrimp and half oysters, and grouper. Then we have kids with fried chicken tenders, grilled cheese, fried shrimp, hamburgers, cheeseburger, and Gulf fish bites. Next, we have entrees with fried chicken, peppered tuna, Alabama chicken, Gulf court bouillon, mama's pork roast, Creole shrimp and grits, blackened swordfish, sides, coleslaw, yellow grits, french fries, baked potato salad. Then we have burgers and sandwiches with cheeseburger, Bama burger, Fisher burger, grouper sandwich, Bill's yard bird, and the shell, veggie wrap, fish tacos, pork belly tacos, 
Then happy hour, special prices on select beer, wine, cocktails, and appetizers, 3 to 6 p.m. daily. So I decided to go with a cheeseburger and a side of grits. And I'm really excited because I got this nice dill pickle. I'm always excited when I get a nice pickle spear like this. Ooh. It always makes me really happy when I get a pickle spear with anything, as I'm a big dill pickle fan. And this, of course, is a delicious dill pickle that I destroyed. Now, we've got this uh, pretty hefty looking burger here. Ah, yes, look at this. We've got two patties, some cheese, now a big honking piece of lettuce. Sometimes that causes a little bit of slipping and sliding. So we'll see how the structural integrity holds up. So far, though, for such a large piece of lettuce, it's holding together pretty darn good, I would say. There's a decent amount of cheese helping glue everything together. Of course, the uh, general consensus from my experience with so many burgers is if the lettuce is shredded, it tends to hold together better. But there's always an exception to the rule. It seems this lettuce uh, is doing pretty darn good so far. It's uh, apparently the right kind of lettuce that's a perfect leaf that is not causing a whole lot of slipping and sliding like so many other experiences with big honking pieces of lettuce like this have caused before. So uh, whatever magic they've used is working quite nicely as we're maintaining really great structural cohesion. Everything is going along very quickly, easily, and effortlessly. Each and every bite has a good meat bun ratio. So they've done a really good job of putting everything together here. The bun's got a nice little flavor too, and bam, look at there. We totally destroyed that burger really fast. Now we have a huge little bowl of some yellow grits. Make sure I get my full carbohydrate intake for the day. So here we go, give it the first taste, and let's see. Okay, these are some nice properly cooked grits. Now, of course, I do believe grits are always improved by the addition of cheese. So they could have made these some very nice ooey gooey cheesy grits to really kick them up a notch. Now for the ultimate grits, I like veal griots on top of them. So they really could have made me a big fan of these grits if they would have added some veal griots and some delicious ooey gooey cheese on top of it all. And that would have made it an absolutely amazing serving of grits right here. Shrimp and grits is another great way to kick the grits up, but here's the last bite of the plain old grits right here. And now, just like I've totally destroyed this cheeseburger and the grits, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this cheeseburger and the grits. And while you're down there, make sure to check out link to my Patreon account as I do it for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip was $18.70. So I just got the unfortunate news that Fisher's Dockside and Fisher's Upstairs, after 10 years, will be permanently closing. November 7th, 2023 will be their last day in business, and they've invited everyone to come out before then and on that day for one last experience at Fisher's Dockside to wish them a fond farewell. So thanks so much to everybody at Fisher's at Orange Beach Marina, and thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. Now, if you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.